And hello again and welcome back. What I'm going to show you today is how to successfully uh, decompile the Calm HTC Resources app. Now in the past there was never a problem. Uh, however, since uh, 4.2 uh, and 4.3, every time you try to decompile, what actually happens is you get a series of errors. Now, there is a fix for it, and thanks to my good mate Sarge, XDA member Fisher 21 passed on this tip, and I'm going to pass it on to you. The first thing we have to do is actually break the app. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the project. And it won't take long for it to break. And there are all the errors. Now, from here, what we have to do is go into the project, right click, and go down to the properties. We're going to scroll down to the very bottom and we're going to open the open advanced project settings. The second tab from the top is the additional app tool decom uh, decompile arguments. We're going to need to write something in here and what we're going to do is put in a hash hash and we're going to type in the word uh, keep K E E P hash broken B R O K E N hash and res res okay we can close that press ok now we go back to the project right click now we're going to import the same app now what happens now is it's going to import it's going to overwrite it's going to keep all the the broken uh, files and it will take about 34 35 seconds so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I have successfully decompiled the Calm HTC Resources app, but we're not finished. Now, as I mentioned, when you uh, import, what happens is that it keeps all the, the errors. So we're going to go into the data and the res. And if you scroll down, you'll see a whole list of, of errors. All these errors have to be deleted. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to highlight all these folders and delete them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get all that done. And I'll, I'll be back in a second and show you what to do next. Okay, now all the error folders have been deleted. So now we can close the window and we can go back to the project. And what I like to do right away is just to make sure that it's done correctly as I, I build it. So I go ahead and I'll build it and I'll be back in a second. Okay, and there we go. We have the, the app has been built successfully. Now, keep in mind that it does take a while, so you you got to have some patience. This one took 1 minute and 44 seconds. Sometimes it takes up to you know, 2 minutes. So just, you know, don't think you're doing it wrong. Just wait it out, and eventually it, it should compile and decompile correctly. Okay, there you go, and stay tuned. I'll have something else for you soon.